Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So a couple months ago, I did an out of my comfort zone makeup tutorial. And so I'm gonna do something similar to that today, but I'm gonna try some new stuff. So I'm gonna prime my eyelids with some concealer and we'll get right into it. I got these little elfie things and I'm gonna try them. I did try one, but then I messed up, so I had to start over. This is my life. Set the concealer. So I'm gonna take a matte brown shade and put that in my crease. And just kinda let it do its thing. I'm using multiple different palettes for this look, so I will list them all below so you guys can know what I used. Okay, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera. Okay, so, did it. They're not perfect, as is tradition for me. I can never get anything perfectly right. Fix this. Just a second. Come on. It also doesn't help that this like blue shade from one of the palettes that I'm working with doesn't actually want to show up, which sucks. Anyway, so let's pull off these bad boys if I figure it out. Come on. All right, that's cool. And we're gonna take a makeup wipe but I used earlier to restart and clean up any fallout and excess crap. I guess that's right. Let's do the rest of the face. So I'm gonna prime my face with the Tatcha Luminous Silk Primer. I love this stuff. I'm gonna make sure that I really get into my smile lines, my crevices. Oh, it smells really good too. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil that I have a sample of foundation. So this is the second video of the day. I don't know if it's gonna go up before the first one or not, but the first one that I had to film, that I filmed, that was the second time filming it. Um, because my daughter messed with my audio stuff. And when we filmed it the first time, the audio did not come out right. And instead of trying to edit it to make it sound pretty, which is very time consuming in case you didn't know. My husband and I just decided that I would refilm it, which sucks because that was supposed it was supposed to go up tomorrow and I don't know if that's going to happen. So my daughter turned 4 this week, this last Sunday. And I'm very sad. Mostly because literally I have one more year with her before she starts school. She will start school either right 
after she turns five or a couple of days before she turns five because where we live um the school district the school district that she's in is a year-round school which is cool no big deal i just i'm gonna miss her <laughs> and she hasn't even started yet we're gonna transition her soon into a big girl bed she's got a toddler bed now but she does not like sleeping in it to be honest she prefers to sleep in my bed which my husband is not happy about which who would be she's four years old and still doesn't want to sleep in her own bed anybody have any tips for that just so sad like I so Facebook likes to you know do those memories things and I stopped putting concealer on my chin because for some reason this is my chin is where I break up and um, like lose foundation the quickest so I stopped um, putting it on to see if it's the concealer that's breaking up my foundation faster or if it's just that's my the area you know like that it just doesn't like so stop doing that we'll see how that that goes not a huge deal um so anyway facebook likes to do the your memories right and i keep and because it's that time of year again all the baby pictures of her so she was so she wasn't a little baby but she was tiny obviously to a certain degree she was 10 pounds 11 ounces so almost 11 pounds but like so she was never truly a tiny baby but she was tiny like, so i miss my favorite stage for babies is the baby stage and i know a lot of people like my husband included like they don't like the baby stage they like you know when they're crawling and moving around and all that stuff but i was just like I love the baby stage. I love that they just want to be held and cuddle. Like that is my favorite. To be honest, like, there's nothing better than that. Because, like, when my daughter will cuddle with me a little bit, it's not the same. Anyway, I got some slight baby fever, but nothing too, too bad that my husband's got to worry. My daughter, however, has a little bit of baby fever, too. We watched um, Casey Holmes um, introdu introducing her baby, um, baby Mason. And my daughter was like, oh, I want a baby. And now my daughter's like, mommy, it's time for you to have a baby. And I'm just going to break that to my husband later on. But she apparently really wants to have a little brother or sister. Which is fine. I don't care. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. I love kids. I do. I used to babysit all the time. Because I loved kids. I'm gonna not even care. But I don't want more than two. As much as I love them. Just cause, sorry, I got like dry shampoo and I can see it and it's bothering me. Um, I come from a big family and so like I had always thought, you know, ooh, I want four kids just like my mom had. Mm -mm. Let me tell you. I changed my tune real quickly after I got pregnant. <laughs> it was not a joyous time for me. I'm just trying, uh, I'm setting my face with some wet and wild translucent, pow translucent powder. However, I don't know that I would consider it really translucent because it darkens up my concealer. Where'd you go? I saw you. Where are you? There you are. Sorry. There. Um, so it has a slight color to it. So if you're fair, like and light skin tone like super light skin tone so fair to like really light 
I would say steer clear this because like it does darken up your concealers. So that's my PSA for the moment. I'm going to do the rest of my face before I do my eyes. It's weird not doing my eyes last because that's what I usually do. And so like this is just strange to me. This is the Milani Sunkissed Silky Matte or Silky Matte Bronzer in Sunkissed. I'm gonna highlight with the Luna by Luna highlighter in Electra. This is the most stunning rose gold. Trying not to highlight that little sucker right there. Blush, tart blush in 30. I'm so tired. It's not even that I went to bed late or that I didn't or whatever. It's just my husband's on a new schedule and like still working out the kinks. Oh, I love this blush. It's so pretty. I'm gonna go in with the navy blue shade that's up here and I'm gonna kind of put nothing. I'll just screw it all up. I think I just totally did. Yeah. Let's see if I can fix it. my face before I do my eyes. Uh, by eyes I mean my eyelashes and stuff. Or my eyebrows. I'm gonna actually put some glue in the waterline. For a fun little something something. Inner corner. I was gonna put on false lashes, but I've decided no. So I'm gonna put my lashes with the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer to my brows. Set those in place. Damn it. I'll say that I do that quite a bit with this, and I don't know why. I'm using the Benefit They're Real. Do the lip. The Huda Beauty Matte Lipstick in Staycation and Maybelline Spatis Beige. And here we go. So, definitely better than last time. Still a little bit of learning curves, but I like it. It's a little fun. Pop a blue without being like overly in your face. So, if you like this look, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of every time I upload. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!